Hey everybody, welcome back. It's December 24th. Uh, I think we just shot Lana? I think. And now we're just coming to work like nothing's happened. Lighty knows he's not coming in. Uh, Mizuka, I'm shocked. Kochi, uh, termites infest my bed and I need to take it into the field and burn it. Or those little bugs are gonna eat my whole house. Yeah, you better take care of that. Well, who are th Wait, what? Uh, why? Who are these? What is this? Samadhi Stovall. What is going on here? So at the end of the last episode, uh, the game crashed. And I'm wondering what the progress. frick is going on here. I wonder if that's related to the game crashing. Why the, I have different pictures for these in progress. The drunk janitor locked himself in one of the classrooms with a senior pupil. Cries can be heard from inside the classroom. A rape. Holy shit. Um, drunk barefooted man couldn't find shoes in the size. Decided to steal the shoes of another shopper. A young guy who was trying on jackets. Uh, okay, this is probably more important. This can be Kurosawa's one job today, I guess. Hold on, let's see. I'm gonna have to send a whole bunch. Maybe I can get away with sending three. I could. That's still a lot higher than I'd like. Yeah. All right. What is, I don't know what's going on here. Is this is this either a bug or it's some weird story thing that's happened? Frick. I wonder if I could have worked that out if I looked at both requirements. Five thirty in progress. Tipsy employee at the registry office refused to register the marriage of Nancy Chambers and Douglas Coach on the grounds. But the bride was a legendary slut. The bride slapped the woman in the face. Jesus. I can't do any of these. Uh, the door to the classroom is locked. There's a rattling sound coming from inside. Pick the lock. The cop managed to pick the lock. Inside the classroom, a screw was lying on a desk, her clothes torn, so skinny janitor strangling her with a wooden mop handle. Do we just shocker this guy? 541 complete. Jeez. Okay. Let's go strength. Rocky Fingers Cafe. I don't know about you, but I hate wild animals. When I was a teenager, raccoon climbed into our house and bit my younger brother Trevor. He nearly died. And now those masked devils have started digging out scraps from the garbage cans behind the cafe, scarring the customer or scaring the customers and breeding disease. But that's one of the main jobs of this of the police to keep orders, right? So please send your man over here. Uh, if I need to, I'll pay something from our stock. Only whoever you send needs to be a good shot. These raccoons are tricky bastards. Don't be fooled by their cute little snouts. Uh, uh we could send flower pots. We got. Oh, nice. Okay, Vic Duval. Well, not nice because he's gone, but could have been worse. Uh, we did get that one right. We've been a bit hit or miss on our cases, I'll be honest. Okay, so that's gone. Twenty nine forty. We can do this. These guys are coming back right away, so we'll send uh, we'll send flower pots here. Oh, yeah, frick, Kurosawa. Useless. If we send Clayton, they can go. Wait, did we even, like... 
554 in progress. Did we even select the people to send out today? I'm trying to remember what happened. I'm still figuring out... I can't figure out why we have these different people in here. The bride has thrown the registry office employee onto a table, sat down on top of her, and is punching her in the face. The groom stands back, not interfering, and mumbling thoughtfully to himself. Mother always told me that Nancy's not the right girl for me. Uh... Nancy, calm down. You're a slut of legend, even down at the station. We can try and restrain her. 5.30 complete. We'll be spending the night in prison. Well, all right. Whoops. I wanted to finish off the negotiation there, but that's okay. Nobody could go there. We have do have a theft. 23.10. Kurosawa is useless. Passerby reports an old man is trying to steal a manhole cover. What? Color me surprised. Uh, Mr. Nash, I shot those flea bags with a single miss. Thanks, haven't had so much fun in a while. The cafe's owner was tappy too. She said that none of the animals I killed will be wasted. I don't know, maybe she was joking. But if I were you, I wouldn't go to that cafe anymore. Okay, so we got coffee. 900 bucks ain't bad. Pass Should we try and do this? I guess so. We'll just send these two. 544, in progress. Okay. At the top of the tower, a girl in torn clothing is leaning against the railing while a man runs around her, aiming at something... Aiming something... Sorry, aiming at something... What the frick? Aiming at something at her and shouting, eyewitnesses are afraid to approach. I don't think I'm going to be able to send people to this, unfortunately. 554 in progress. Girl wasn't in danger. Oh, thanks. She just be dreams of becoming a model and arranged herself an amateur photo session. Boyfriend was helping her with his cheap camera. Okay, that seems like a stretch. 2800 Pawn shop cashier reports that a girl stole several items from his display case. At first, she was looking at the gold bracelets, a gift for her fella, she said. Then she asked me to show her the bronze statuette of Achilles from the top shelf while I was up on the ladder. She grabbed the bracelets and ran away. You'll easily find her on the street. She's wearing a bright pink scarf. We can't send Kurosawa. Okay, so the old man in a knit hat with a ball on top is prying open a manhole cover with a crowbar. Uh, we can just sneak up on him. 554 complete. Turned out the old man wanted it to be close... Wanted it to close up... What is going on with all these grammatical things. It turned out that the old man wanted it to close up. Oh, I see. He wanted it to close up an old manhole near his grandson's house. I called the city authorities over and over, but they're all useless. They wanted to steal that to put it in another place. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, these guys, will they be back in time? I don't think so. Like, I'm not understanding something with what's going on with our people. Like, we, the, two of these guys, we don't even have anymore. So, like, what the frick is happening? Wait, see? What the f... Like, Stovall. He was... <laughs> what is going on? We're, we did, like, okay, I'm so, con I'm so confused about what the frick just happened. Why we had those weird officers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that was because we crashed or what. I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. But, uh, we're taking a lot of cops today. Hopefully the right ones. Maybe that's just a super weird bug. Or maybe that's maybe we're like hallucinating or losing our mind or something. I, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. But that was a really short day, so maybe we'll just do another one here. 
Okay, so Kurosawa didn't come in. That's fine. Belmont drank too much. Mazika drank too much. Okay. See, like, who is this? Well, who are all these people? Purdy, Price, these are people from, like... I don't... It... I don't know if this is a bug or what is the frick is going on here. Uh, this is the weirdest thing. Purdy and Price, I'm pretty sure, were from the first game. Or were they... Or did we have them here? Frick, I can't remember. The payment's due the day after tomorrow. Or... Yeah, okay. I don't know if... I don't know if the game's doing stuff that, like... I don't know if it's bugged. <laughs> I don't know what the frick is happening. Something's weird, man. I finally got a new fuel shipment, although it came in cans, and I need to quickly unload everything and have time to dilute it. I'm guessing... Okay, hold on. I gotta think this through, because... We shot... We shot Lana, and now things are super weird. There's gotta be, like... There's gotta be something that's going on here. I don't know. Uh, although it came in cans, I need to quickly unload everything and have time to dilute it before the gas station's first customers arrive. Like they say, no one wants to see how the sausage is made. I'd like to ask the help of a strong cop in exchange I'll promise on a share in the canisters. Alright. Who's got... Who's tough? Lighty, go. Christmas Day. 513 in progress. Priest got drunk and started peeling donuts around the church in his car. Prisoners are worried about the health of the Holy Father. Me too. Me too. I will send Belmont. All right. Gas station owner said he'd never seen anybody so strong. You're oh, good job, Lighty. Good boy. All that diesel fuel. Oh no, Belmont! It was only a matter of time. We could, we could pay the hospital guy to like take care of him. But if we have any more detective cases, it's good to have him. See, like we can take care of him. I don't know. We might as well just keep the guy. That's a problem at this point. Cashier reports an old woman in a fur hat gathered a package of food, pulled the fire alarm, and slipped out of the store amidst the general mayhem. Pretty good. Drunken priest is leaning out the window, driving a sedan at full speed and yelling, The devil can't keep up with me. Near the church are several parishioners observing the display. Okay, so we're gonna do, um... Order the priest to shut off the engine. 513 complete. Drunk priest obeyed the cop, stopped the car, and surrendered to the mercy of the law and the mercy of the Lord our Savior. Parishioners celebrated the happy outcome with applause and quiet prayer. Okay. Guys, I need to know if we're tripping balls or what is happening here. Like, Kochi, Purdy, Price, Tsubaki. What? And then, uh, our other... Yeah, like, I don't know, man. Small crowd of people have exited the store and a fire truck is driving up. In the crowd, there are two older women, one in a fur hat and the other with a package. A young guy is walking away. He's also carrying a package and periodically looking back at the crowd. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Small crowd of people have exited the store and a fire truck is driving up. In the crowd, there are two older women, one in a fur hat, the other with a package. A young guy is walking away. He's also carrying a patch and periodically looking at the crowd. I mean, I guess we go with the guy. Five fifty four oh. complete. Turned out he simply agreed to help the old woman with the fur hat bring her purchase home. While the police were busy with him, the real criminal disappeared. What was that? Just like a one in three chance? 531 in progress. Assault was a deadly weapon at kindergarten. Drunk grandmother came to pick up her grandson, but the teacher refused to give the child to a woman who could barely stand. In response, my grandmother pulled out a revolver. My grandmother pulled out a revolver? Remember that, uh, that Percy guy disappeared? We haven't heard anything from him. It was like revenge from, like, the, uh, gang or whatever. 
Drunken grandmother carrying a revolver shoots at the ground of at the teacher's feet. Hurry up, bring me my Peter, you bitch. Um, well. Let's order her to drop her weapon. 531 Peter will be taken, obviously. Oh, you know what? Again, I should have been using the other people if I could to uh, boost their stats. 523 in progress. So my neighbors are complaining about a scandalous couple. They're yelling and breaking dishes all day. Better come sort them up before they kill each other. They're probably just doing it. They're probably just doing it. On the dishes. You never know. Five forty-seven in progress. We have an abduction. Eyewitnesses report that a man in a mask grabbed a girl and tried to shove her into the trunk of his car. Oh, it's so close. I mean, we're having a pretty successful day. Minus that one person getting away. Patrol car drove up to the house. The sound of a woman screaming comes from inside. A frying pan flies past the kitchen window. Let's uh, break down the door. The cop broke the door down and went inside. In the kitchen, a man and woman are on the floor fighting. The woman has a frying pan in her hands. The man is bleeding from his head. Uh, let's just use the shocker. 523 complete. Stuns a couple with a shocker. It turns out this last quarrel began because the husband was tired of eating canned beans for dinner. That's pretty aggressive. We'll take those beans off your hands. Okay, a man in a child's plastic mask slams the trunk of his black sedan. Ram with the patrol car. What do you got in the trunk? A body or sneak up? I think we go sneak here. Um, we don't really have good options for wool bag. So the other guys is going to be a little bit wasted, but we'll get the job done. Complete. Girl in the trunk got off with a, uh, with a fright when they took the mask off the man. The girl recognized him as her ex-boyfriend who she dumped several months ago. Classic case of the crazies. 552 in progress. The guy in the sports fan... Sports fan's hat stole a wallet from an old man while threatening him with a knife. According to the old man, the robber then ran into the gas station. According to the old man. Oh, really? Uh, a guy in a sports fan's hat is buying chips and beer. Well, let's pull the sneaks, old Purdy. 552 complete. Nice. Found the wallet in the guy's pocket. Well done. I really hope there's some explanation or else or else it's gotta be a bug, because like. I don't know what the frick's going on. Like, this this group of people that we're picking, this is normal. These are all normal. But I don't know what's going on in the actual loadouts. By the way, this won't be the first attack on the Sharpwood Sheriff's Department. Marino brought me a pile of old newspapers here. Yeah, the, the poor bastard collects newspapers. Can you figure? Not comics, no, nothing easy like that. No, newspapers, old ones, new ones, local, overseas, all sorts. I bet he's got a whole closet filled with newspapers with your name on the front page. Well, he brought me some to read from his collection, and it turns out that back in 52, the department got a bunch of Molotov cocktails through the front window. They barely saved the building. Then in 59, there was a gunfight, and then in 1960, there was another one. So look at it this way, Jack. We're going with tried and true methods. But it's the first attack on the sheriff's department where the sheriff's gonna get killed. Let's hope at the last one. Now look at it this way. Excuse me, Colonel. 
But Mr. Summers wants to talk to you. He said that if you don't explain right now why Friday's delivery was delayed... Rocky, what the fuck? Don't you see that we're talking here? Did it cross your mind that this could be more important? Do you think that First Deputy Nash and me are sitting here playing pool? Colonel, I, I Rocky, just... Rocky, if we were still serving the army, I'd bust you down to latrine duty. You'd be clearing toilets in the barracks with a toothbrush for a month. But you know what? I might just make you do that anyhow. I can do that, right? How do you like that idea, Rocky? You probably already forgot, I'll but I'll wait it's... for you outside, Colonel. As for the details, there aren't many people in this town I can trust, so try not to get my guys killed. Yours are a dime a dozen, and mine are itching for a good gunfight. So two or three cops are going to get shot. Maybe five at most. Just <laughs> pick the ones you don't mind two getting or three, rid of. Two or three, maybe five at most. I don't think you'll have much of a problem with that. And oh, there's no. something else. We're going to have to sacrifice what? these guys? Maybe we should shoot you, too. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> no, 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 I just mean a little poke. Slightly shot. In the hand and leg for heroism. So nobody has any doubt that it was First Deputy Nash who bravely defended the department. Oh, man. Standing firm while the bullets flew past. Who else could be the next sheriff? I'm the First Deputy. If Sheriff Reed dies, I'll automatically take her place. Why make any extra fuss? Come on, Jack. You never watch a movie? All the heroes are wounded at the end. They all have scars. They're, they're getting interviewed by the press from their hospital beds, promising to return to service as soon as possible and set things straight. Otherwise, it's just too boring. And if the injury turns out to be serious enough that I can't physically manage the duties of sheriff, how boring would that be? You know what? You're right. Better not to take any chances. What does that mean? You need anything from me? I have ten boxes of fireworks. We could fill the whole place with smoke and really make it look like something. Arthur Sherman. Huh? Arthur Sherman. He knows who I am. It'd be better if I discussed it with him. Personally. Bring him to me. Okay, Jack. Okay. If that's what you want. But listen. That harmless college boy couldn't even... Colonel, I'm sorry. I tried to tell For him that... For fuck's it... sake! Mr. Nash... You remember me saying something about not killing my guys? Let's let's make an exception. Shoot this bastard. Remember the red mustache? Put it in the mud. Mr. Summers said that if you don't speak to him right away, he's gonna turn you into the sheriff. <laughs> you hear that, Sheriff Nash? That's a serious threat. Serious. I better go and talk to him, right? <laughs> I have no idea where this is going now. Plan is dead. To the plan, Jack. This guy wants Soon us to everything sacrifice a bunch of cops. Like, we're screwed, man. What a Christmas. What a Christmas.